Hello everyone and welcome back to a video with Silicemux of course and here we are doing another build and it's the uh, 2544 challenge which means we have four builds as you can see I already built the outside structure and each build it's completely different from the other each one is completely uh, unique and uh, it's created specifically for a different type of sim and I really enjoy this challenge because it's really difficult actually to build in uh, uh, building this size and um, rem remembering that the only livable space is that uh, um, long structure you have uh, so you have to make some compromises here and there but I think that in the end the buildings turned out really good I saw the idea of this channel in uh, the comments for a video I don't remember on uh, which channel but, and I really liked the idea so I thought why not try it so yeah give it a go and uh, these are my um, results and this is the first house this house is going to be quite modern uh, but also not too expensive looking because I wanted to be like uh, the house of a couple of a young couple that wanted to I don't know be, um, buy their first house so um, as you can see the, the except for the technology which is quite modern and uh, I think it really fits in the house in the end uh, but uh, as you can see the furniture and everything it's uh, um, like IKEA kind of look um, since we do not have the IKEA stuff back like in The Sims 3 or it was this, yeah The Sims 3 I think um, I had to go with this but I think it turned out really cute in the end and um, yeah as you can see I'm just um, all the inside of the house um, it's going to be different uh, every house it's unique uh, only the outside uh, mm, kind of general structure it's the same but uh, the look inside and outside and uh, the uh, actual rooms are all different in each house and I want just to already um, say that in this house and I think that there is not in any house I do not have a bathroom that it's not uh, attached to a, a bedroom uh, because I I mean I did uh, uh, also another house that it's not this one that's going to have two bedrooms but even there there is no um, like guest bathroom uh, there is only the bathroom in the master bedroom uh, anyway it's not a problem for your sims uh, they will use the bathroom in the master bedroom even the gas would go there the only problem is that it's not 100% realistic in term of a real house but I think that it's something it's a compromise that we had to um, really uh, understand it's difficult to um, not actually use uh, all the space um, so I had to take out something and the bathroom was the f the first thing I thought because it's small and in the master bedroom would fit perfectly with no problem so I thought why not. So here we are doing the kitchen as you can see it's quite modern um, I'm going to change it a bit around adding the thing on the um, the stove and some decoration here and there it's quite difficult if you have I noticed if you have a coffee machine to add the tea bags the that tea bag thing that I'm using so I had to put it like that uh, because uh, I could not uh, uh, fill up both the counters uh, since the one counter must be always empty for the sims to prepare food so um, it it was a, a little difficult uh, but it worked out in the end and here I'm adding some other decoration this uh, pen on uh, the sink so that you like you wash them and then you leave them on the sink to um, dry down and here are some fruit I'm adding some fruit on the table just to make it more lived in uh, it's like the first house of a couple so I wanted it to be um, 
nice but also like if they want to live there forever and they are actually make the, uh, ha making the house um more uh, personal and uh, here is the studio except for the technology again the computer is quite modern uh, also the studio is uh, ikea like as you can see from the chair and uh, the bookcase and right now yeah i'm just adding some decoration and uh, going around the house adding the wall stuff and for the lights i used the same light everywhere uh, because i thought that they would buy the same light at ikea and then use it all around the house i like actually like the look with the moquette now in the bedroom but in the end i change it up for the wood again uh, i'm not against wood inside the bedroom uh, because i think i i have uh, the parking in my bedroom so uh, I think it's fine if you have wood and not moquette it's not a problem uh, also because in the sims you uh, don't have like winter uh, where the um, uh, the floor would be so cold and stuff so it's fine like that I added that brick wall behind the, wall, the bed to make it different and stand out and it also uh, mm, comes back to the color of the uh, of the bed. And uh, here we're doing the bathroom, um, adding some stuff, normal stuff, all the stuff you need: the shower, the the, uh, the um, sink, and uh, the toilet. And I'm just messing around to see if I can fit everything. And in the end, I choose this. And I want I make sure um, that each object in the four houses uh, is completely usable for the sim so that you don't have to worry like uh, moving stuff around. I'm not sure if I tried every single object, but I did not use the move object to cheat that much. So I'm guessing that everything is working. If it's not, just move it around a little bit. It should all fit anyway. Uh, adding some decoration in the studio. I wanted to make it more lived in, more filled. Uh, like they had some uh, stuff for work. And uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. I wanted to have uh, something to put a uh, plant on. Uh, so I get rid of the light. But then I was like, I put a light there for uh, a reason. So I wanted the light back. And in the end, I don't even remember if I put something on that. And uh, maybe it's okay. Yeah, some plants. Okay, nice. It's fine. It's fine. I did that. And here are some mirrors to make. Um, if you had mirrors in a small house, it looks much more big. So it was a plus. And also, I was thinking. Um, you guys uh, should let me know in the comments if you want these for houses to be part of a LP uh, like um, I don't know maybe a couple living in this house and uh, a family of course in the house with two bedrooms and um, maybe some other sims for the other two houses in the middle and do like an LP lock the doors so they can use only their house and uh, or, mm, I don't know let me know in the comments here we're going uh, into the posh house, which is much more neat uh, and um, rich looking. Um, yeah, we can say it's really posh. And I wanted to do a different roof, um, because that the roof I used in uh, the uh, modern house was uh, too modern for this house. This house is more classic, traditional, so... Yeah, at first I wanted it with this roof, but don't worry, in the end I realized that it's dumb. And I wanted to use a three wide door, but I could not because of the fact that the house is four wide. So it would look horrible. And here it's the inside. I'm just changing around, putting the corridor there and doing a little kitchen that is going to change and be larger. And I wanted to... um. This is the the um, first idea I had, the central uh, archway for the um, entrance into the living room. But then I changed my mind and uh, make it different so that I can fit 
a bookcase on the side uh, because I really wanted a suitcase in uh, the uh, living room and he, this is the living space, general living space of the house and uh, yeah, here I'm working around in the living room um, there are not that many woods that I liked for the posh house I found uh, quite easily that uh, wall, I love it and in the end I settled for this uh, nice wood but I thought that there would be some nicer uh, like parquet stuff uh, but it wasn't so yeah and anyway don't worry if um, you guys know some stuff back that I have to download because there are a lot of nice things inside I don't know uh, let me know in the comments because as I already said in another video I oh yeah I'm putting the flowers outside making the entrance larger don't worry the entrance is, l is larger but it's not livable space so it doesn't count uh, as uh, part out of the build 2544 uh, uh, but anyway uh, if you know some stuff packs that I get, uh, need to get because they are really nice let me know because I said already that I have only the get to work and get together um, so yeah and here we're doing in the entrance of the posh house adding some flowers because you want to uh, the house to look like nice and uh, lush and uh, livable uh, I don't want the house to look uh, hideous and here I was searching for some bookcase to put in and I wanted it to put the suitcase in that neat, the little um, I don't know uh, things I, at the sides of the entrance but I uh, they could not fit except for the horrible horrible looking one and it, since it, this is the posh house I could not use those and here I'm adding the TV uh, with this big one that actually does not fit on the um, that kind of uh, cabinet but I put it there anyway anyway <laughs> uh, I, at first I had a chair there and I thought yeah I'm going to use this one but it looks so damn I don't know dumb so I was like, yeah, move the entrance, just shuffled, shuffle around the stuff, and I think some paintings and uh, the thing, f the, and a cloth hanger, so you can hang your jacket if you come in. And uh, here I'm adding the bookcase that I wanted in the um, living space. Here I'm using the same wood in the other rooms, and some uh, beautiful paintings to make it more um, lived in. I think that uh, whoever lives in a ha in this house wants to show that they have a lot of money so they buy a lot of art and here we have the studio uh, with the nice uh, big uh, um, chair leather chair and uh, the computer is probably with the TV the only two pieces of technology we have also a chandelier there and yeah the only pieces of technology that actually look modern except for the stuff in the kitchen as well because I didn't want the kitchen to look like uh, shabby I wanted the kitchen to look good also in my idea uh, they do not cook for themselves the people that lives in that live in this house I don't know how many people I think only one or maybe two a couple maybe uh, elderly couple lives here uh, maybe rich I don't know, and I thought that may, they may have a maid that uh, um, cooks for them and uh, take ca takes care of the house. So I change up the kitchen, make it a little bit bigger, and uh, yeah, it looks like the maid lives in the ki like lives in the kitchen all the time, and only uh, goes uh, at home for the night, or something like that. Is what I had in the my in mind while building the kitchen. And um, here putting some nice chandelier around to light up the rooms and going into the dining room. The dining room is going to be one of my favorite rooms actually. I really like the white hood on the walls and the red uh, um, the red uh, uh, wall up, uh, and all the details that I put in. I like that the wall match with the uh, chair, the central, uh, the central chair. And I'm adding some decoration here and there, like those swords 
and uh, the pans I put them uh, in the kitchen because they were sticking out uh, some frying pan and that's it adding some art again I know I already used those paintings but I'm using them again because um, I want them to look posh and I'm going into the bedroom uh, a little bigger uh, wardrobe and a nicer bed I shift actually this bedroom around as you can see uh, because I didn't want it to be the same as in the modern house and yeah now I'm going around with the curtains um, because I thought since it's a posh house they would actually have curtains on every single uh, window so yeah I go around I usually don't use um, curtains in the sims uh, I don't really like it and I wanted to do a uh, curtains on a bed as well but it was too much work and it would take too much space so I was like now it's fine and now I'm doing this bedroom um, it's quite dark actually I think um, but it's a nice pattern of colors and I changed the yeah I changed the moquette and going into the bathroom a nice uh, um, nice stuff around uh, you can actually go into that bathtub with no problems even with the toilet there it doesn't uh, block anything uh, so don't worry you can use this bathtub no problem and if you cannot you can always make the bathroom a little a square bigger just for that toilet and here I change up the roof I, ch I realized that I can use this roof I wanted to cover up at first but then I realized what the fuck am I doing with those little little roofs I can do this yeah uh, it was a quite a mistake well yeah I'm changing up the outside and out of the exterior of the house I wanted to make it still look like a posh house but that's more or less it for this part in the next part that I'm going to upload shortly I'm going to do the other two houses so thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time uh, leave a like and subscribe and bye